Hello, I'm Dr. Ranjit Ramasamy. I'm a reproductive urologist at the University of Miami. Hello, I am Dr. Angulo. Today, we are going to talk about vasectomy. Vasectomy is the most effective form of contraception. It involves cutting the tubes that take the sperm from the testis to the outside world. Even though vasectomy is a good contraceptive method, it does not stop men from transmitting sexually transmitted infections. It is minimally invasive, ambulatory, and the recovery is very fast. So the risk of complication is very low. Oh, hello there. My name is Dr. Patel. I'm a fellow in reproductive urology at the University of Miami. Now that you're home, it is important to refrain from any physical exercise or heavy lifting one week after having your vasectomy. It is also important to refrain from having sexual intercourse for at least one week after the procedure. For the next two days after the procedure, some cold compress on the scrotum and tight underwear can help with the swelling and discomfort. It is important to remember that after the procedure, you may notice some bruising or some swelling. You may also have some blood in the ejaculate after having done the procedure. However, if you develop any significant bruising or swelling or develop any fevers or chills, it is important to contact your healthcare provider. There are many myths regarding this procedure. Will I not ejaculate anymore? False. Men will still be able to ejaculate normally after a vasectomy because most of the fluid in the ejaculate is made from seminal vesicles and not from the testicles. Does it cause erectile dysfunction? Absolutely not. That's the most common myth that men have after vasectomy and so therefore vasectomy does not affect how one performs in the bedroom. Does it cause prostate cancer? One study has shown a small association, but vasectomy definitely does not cause prostate cancer. Does sex drive decrease? Vasectomy does not affect libido or sexual desire or how men are able to think and have sex after vasectomy. Is it very painful? A vasectomy is done in the office under local anesthesia. 99% of the vasectomies absolutely cause no pain and a simple office visit can determine if it can be done in the office or not. If men have had previous surgeries, it can be painful and in those rare circumstances, we can do it under anesthesia in the hospital. Is it less safe than tubal ligation in women? Tubal ligation is a very invasive procedure that requires a laparoscopic or an abdominal operation for women. Vasectomy can be done safely in the office and is way more effective compared to tubal ligation. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. So vasectomy is a permanent form of contraception. However, men do change their minds. In those situations, a vasectomy reversal can happen and the chance of success ranges from 80 to 95%. You will ask yourself, is this right for me? It is ideal for men who has an active sex life and do not want to have children. After a vasectomy is completed, men still have to keep using protection to avoid getting their wives pregnant because sperm can remain in the fluid up to three months after a vasectomy. You have to do an office semen analysis to determine that there is no sperm prior to getting off contraception. And most importantly, it is important to note that men should kill, still keep aware of preventing sexually transmitted infections by using condoms such as hepatitis, HIV, syphilis, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. Now go get your vasectomy.